Oh, y'all was waiting. Hey, 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 I'm back. <clears throat> had to charge my phone up a little bit, but I am back doing a new video. We, said we are going to embroider on a baby onesie on my six needle machine. I got glitter all over my face. I'm going to wait until people come in. Hey, hey, hey. My second live for today. If you missed the first live, please go back and watch it. I'm just going to share it on my um page real quick. Hey, y'all back, y'all back. <laughs> hey, fabulous. Hey, dear. <laughs> I charge my phone up a little bit. Give me something to drink, something to eat. I'm back, y'all. Go ahead and become a moderator. Fabulous and Dimps, please. If y'all would be so grateful to do that, I'll be grateful. That's what I'm looking for. Let me go ahead and share this real quick, real quick. That got me two times in one day. Well, not one day, because it's the next day on my clock. Shoot, it's Saturday. Saturday morning, 12 o'clock midnight. Let me copy this. Um, give me one second, y'all. One second. Y'all ready for me to do that? Um... That onesie, I'm about to do the onesie, y'all. I got everything ready, so I ain't got no problems. I'm going to show y'all how to do it on Embr I use in Brilliance. Everything ready. Um, I use in Brilliance. So I'm going to show you how I do it on Brilliance, and I'm going to go ahead and do it on the um, embroidered on the shirt and tell you everything I use. But I'm about to go ahead and just post this on my other group real quick. I'm just waiting for people to come in. We got 37 people on here. Y'all still woke. Hey, Nelly. I'm going to put all my links under my video right now. So, y'all, if y'all have any questions about anything, all the links will be below this video. So, I'm doing that right now. Everything I use, all of my videos is under all of the videos. Copy. Paste it under here. Real quick, real quick, real quick. And I will be... I just copied. Why won't let me paste it? Copy. My, my computer backing up, y'all. Paste. Yay, 41 people. Let me see that likes. Thumbs up this video, please. I got 17 likes with 47 people watching. It's 12 a.m. here. Okay, y'all, it's 12, 16 here, too. It's late, y'all. Y'all got me up here late. Y'all talking, we just did it. We just live. We just did a live. Who was on here before? Oh, uh, thank you, so deep. I can't see who that was. So deep designs. Thank you. We just got for live, girl. We back on here. Who was on my live before? For this one, we was on there for three hours, y'all. Now this one gonna be quick. I'm just gonna be embroidering a um t-shirt. I mean a onesie. Y'all always know I say it's gonna be quick, but it's never quick. But I'm about to embroider this onesie, and I'm gonna be out of here. And I'm go and look at YouTube so I can figure out how to make up some more stuff. Y'all know how I do it. I got linked everything under this video. So if y'all want to know anything, my um my um TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. Please follow me on Instagram. All the links are below. So please follow me. I would love to see you follow me. Hit that like button. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all my ride or die. Let me dimps and fabulous. I see y'all. Who else there? 
Where else, else was on here? I see y'all. I just remember their names. Just... Okay, let's see. I think I got everything situated. Okay. Copy. Okay. Copy. Go to Facebook. Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And we're going to paste this in here and we're ready to go. Thanks for being patient with me, y'all. 46 people watching. We just had like 200 some people on the other live. They went to bed. They went to sleep, sleep, didn't they? Uh, let me see. Copy. Oh, shoot. Copy. Paste. Okay, all done. I just posted on my on my thing. What is sleep? Right. I don't know about that either. I have no clue what sleep is because you see, I don't get no sleep. I be up all. There I go. There I go. <laughs> Let me go ahead and go to if y'all know about my my um group Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. There we go. Over forty. There's our members right there. Come on and join with us. Okay, let me go ahead and go to um. I do um. I use the brilliance. Here's my um, file that I'll be doing right now. Just use my ring light. Okay, today I'm going to be doing an applique, and I got this number one. This is how I got the number one. I go over here to my um, to my all of my fonts that I download. If you saw you download all your download all your fonts to be right here. Okay, and I found um, hold on, right here. This is the um, the name Jordan. The name is the sneakers font. It's right here. I love that font for boys. And then the number one is up here to applique font. Okay, they come in different different um inches. I use that one. I just got this applique font too. Applique font is when you can put fabric or inside of it. Fabric or vinyl or um vinyl anything. You can put a lot of different something inside here. So this right here be filled with a uh, fabric. Okay. So I made it a little bit bigger. This this number one is a uh, size three by four point five eight. And then the number letter, letter, the word Jordan is a uh four point one one point five seven right here. And then this hoop I'm gonna use this is my first time using this hoop. It's a six by nine hoop by Mighty Hoop. And you can tell by the hoops, so you go to this little icon right there, the hoops. And then the hoop is right here. By uh, six by nine, I'm sorry, six by nine. You go by millimeters. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it and push OK. If you want to put, I already put the words and stuff in there, but if you want to put the words in there, you just put, click on this letter A. Then a drop box will come down and you put down whatever you want to put in there. But I already did the lettering. It's right here. Everything good. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this on my flash drive. So I push that little save button right here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to name it Jordan. It's a PS file. I have a brother, so my file is PS. So I go ahead and put Jordan right here. And then I make sure it's on my disk, which is this right here, the UBS. Click on that USB. I always say UBS. It's USB. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, now we'll save on my USB right there. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. And on, um, with my Max, you gotta throw it in the trash. My daughter be like, why you gotta throw stuff in the trash? Yeah, we gotta throw it in the trash. So I gotta find that little USB thing. Where is it at? It's under this thing. So I gotta close this out. My computer been acting real funky today, y'all. Don't want to act right. I got to go. Uh-oh, my phone. Better. My battery going dead. Oh, y'all got to plug my phone back up. Let me just plug throw this in the garbage real quick, and I'm going to plug my phone up real quick. So it goes right there. So now it's on my UBS. Okay. There we go. Now I'm about to go put it in my little machine. Let me get my charger and plug this phone up before it go dead on y'all. Where's my little... Plug it up. Hold on, y'all. One second. Put my, plug my phone up. We don't want it to go dead now, do we? Yep, I have thank you. Dips through everything because I was about to say, look it up. I don't know what I got. Well, I got an entrepreneur six plus. It's a PR. 
670 e so you had to look it up because i got so much stuff i don't know what i got and i love it i just got it and i love it to pieces let me make sure this is, my phone is charging up because it's on the charger but i don't mean it's charging because i got this dang on stitching cord they be acting funny sometimes with me okay let me show y'all my table right here bring this down some i got other machines too y'all y'all just y'all got other um embroidery machines i got three of them over there one two three three machines over there too and i got a big one over here i'll show y'all my big one in a minute i'm gonna bring this down so y'all can see my table okay okay so today i'm going to be using i'm gonna get y'all some light so dark in here. Today I'm going to be using my six by nine. Was this a six by nine mighty hoop? My first time using it. Hope I put it together right. Look, all it looks kind of funky. These things is going up like this. Hopefully I put it together right. Yes, I feel. For me when I switch out my artwork. Okay, look. So it looks like this. Hopefully they up. They look like they curve it a little bit. So if I didn't do this right, let me know if y'all got some mighty hoops. Is it supposed to be curved up like this? Look how it's slanted up. It's going up. It's not straight. So hopefully I put it together right. So I got my mighty hoop. I'm going to be using. I'm going to be basically doing this um, black um, onesie. Thank you, thank you, Dimps. If you newbie here, if you're a newbie, say I'm virgin, so we know you're new to this channel. Okay, new to my lives. Okay, I have a onesie. This is a size um, uh, 12 to 18 months. Okay, I'm, I already ironed it, so I got my heat press on. I already, I put a basically, I put a crease right here in the middle. But I'll show you a different way of how to see if you got this straight on your um on your mighty hoop too. But I ironed it, put a crease right there. I folded it and I ironed it on my heat press. Okay, so it can be a little crease right there. I'm also going to use Tender Touch, but the inside of the um shirt when I'm done with it, I'm going to press this on the shirt. Tender Touch. You can get that from Amazon or you can get it from Home um, Hobby Lobby or at Joann's. Also, I'll be using um heat and bond. I'm gonna show you how to do the heat and bond light. Also, while I'm on this video. I'm gonna put that on the fabric right here that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna cut that out right now, too. Here's the fabric I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna put this the fabric inside the number one because this is the skirt it's going with. Well, this is Journey skirt. They're twins. Journey skirt. I'm gonna have her number one. I'm not doing hers today. I'm doing Journey Jordan's today. So Journey will have a number one on hers with her name, Journey. But today we're doing Jer. We're doing. Who we doing? We're doing uh, Jordan's. But here's his shorts. Put a number one on his shirt, and his name is on his shirt, too. Okay? So we're going to use this fabric. I'm going to go ahead and put the heat and bond on there too. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. My heat press is already ready. I'm going to make it big enough for both of their letters. Well, yeah. I don't know how big the one going to be. About five inches long. I'm going to go ahead and cut it so I can use the whole piece for um, heat and bond. Five inches long. So it's going to be about ten inches. Let me measure this so I won't use too much heat and bond. About ten inches long, but right here cut it out it's heat and bond light okay you use the heat and bond light to attach the um so when you um wash your garment your um the um this won't come up the fabric won't come off the um, shirt okay and you also always press you put the fabric on the bumpy side just like this and you put it in the heat press okay you cut this fabric a little bit it's too big make sure it's covering the whole piece if I don't see your question, please answer it uh, to answer it again. If I'm not looking at the camera, I'm just cutting the fabric so it can fit on the heat and bond. I'm going to put it on my heat press. My heat press is warming up. I'm using my little heat press right now since I'm using it, doing a little shirt. Let me show you my heat press in a second. Some paper on my heat press. I got this butcher paper from um, Sam. Or you can get it from Sam or um, Gordon's or wherever you go. That on there and get some more paper so i'm gonna put my heat press my big old roll it's coming to it come about this thick so i'm gonna need some more soon okay let's go over here to the heat press y'all well you can see that from here okay there's my heat press i don't want to move my phone because i got it plugged in we can go about this far you can see that right Look at this. I got me a little today. I went to the store in Walmart. got me a little drawer thing. So now I got my little, this is my little packing station over here. My, I got an ironing board, but I don't use it to iron on. I use it to set my stuff up when I'm ready to go. <laughs> when I'm ready to ship everything off. So I just made this on my last live. Those two mugs and stuff. I made that. 
So and instead of going to my mother's house because it's my for Mother's Day. But look at this, I bought this today. So I got in here I got my little cards, my thank you cards from my gifts. So when I'm ready to um my gifts, my purchases that people buy from me, I got the card, the envelope, my business card, and all my little follows. You can follow me on that. All my customers can follow me too to see how I make their clothes and stuff. I got the um packaging tape up here. Okay. See this time you come to my life, you'll never know what you're gonna get. I'm always bring the sticker to something to show y'all, okay? I got my thank you stickers right here. When are you going to do the big daddy print? <laughs> I just used it. You missed it, girlfriend. You missed it. You must have missed that live. I did that live a couple days ago. I did it. I did some pillowcases. So check out my pillowcase um live, okay? Um, I got fragile stickers. Okay. This is all my packing center, okay? The tape for the, the boxes that I use. I have the um, like I said, my business cards. And this one I have my um I made all these in um if y'all know about what's the name of that place? Um uh, Canva, Canva.com. My um clothing care stickers, okay? My clothing care stickers, I have my um I got my bonnet care stickers. The stickers, I just put them on their um little thank you cards. I place them right here on this thank you card. I open the card up, put it right here. And I put a little thank you right here. And I write their name on there. And I put my name on there. I thank them for their gift. And on the bottom of them, I have the patch instructions, okay? It's all stickers. I just take it off put it on their little thank you card. This is all I got. I just got this. Yes, I got. I'm trying to get organized, y'all. trying to get organized. And then down here, it's all my little, um, I got these things to put my patches in, okay? Amazon. I got the links below. Amazon. I got these bags. Um, The bigger patches goes in these bags. I got these bags for my t-shirts. Okay, they're real nice and big for the big t-shirts. I got some for my, my, my children, my children boutique. I got tissue paper. I just start, I'm gonna start using tissue paper. I haven't been using tissue paper, but I'm gonna start using that. Um, just to decorate my little stuff, make it look cute. Um, more bags, and then I got more, like if I'm shopping or something, or somebody need to, if they deliver, if I'm delivering their items. I got my purple bags. My color scheme is purple and gold. My favorite color. But both of my shops, okay? My purple shop, my purple for my granddaughter um, shop, it's her birthstone because she was born in February. So her birthstone is, is purple. So that's the reason why we're using hers. But purple is my favorite color anyway. So she was thinking about me when she was born. Okay, and I also got the um all my little bag, my little purple mailers down here. Got all sizes. Small, big, large. So I got a lot, about four sizes down here. And I also got these the big, big ones when I'm doing big orders. Depends on what I'm doing. The other millers. It could be for big shirts, 4X or whatever. Big shirts. So all my millers are down here. And it's all my stuff. And like I said, and then here's my little um my little crate. My crate is where my orders go. My my you see my calendar right there. So I mark down stuff that I know they did have done. So here's my little orders. So right now I have in my order I put in here like the patch just I got a patch due and I put the date on there right there it's due on the 11th so I put everything in here like the patchwork I need the twill whatever this right here I got to do a bonnet so her stuff was right there on the ironing board because I need to have to go to the store and get some more some more vinyl today I mean some more um some more satin so um I got that today and I showed y'all my first video my little fabric haul um I got a t-shirt in here I got to do a t-shirt so I got to get her invoice I'll put it in here but this is just good to have everything organized okay this is a, a shirt. I do. A, I gotta do another rumper right here. I'm making a rumper. So these are what these are for. This is and I put it right here in this crate. So I'll be able to see everything I need organized right there for me. And then when I get done with it, I put it right here on this ironing board. And then I ship it. I put it in that little box. You'll see a little UPS box right there on the floor. I put it right in there and take it to the post office. All right. All right. All right. 103 watching for you. Yes, come on now. Hit them likes. Hit them. Oh, I got this 100 people back. Who was on here before? My first live, I just got off of. Say me if you was here before. This is my second live, y'all. My second live. Okay, now I'm just showing y'all my little setup for my little um station. When I uh, do all of my little packing up and stuff. I got my, I do weigh my items. You back, you back, you back. Okay. Y'all just missed my little, I just showed you about my little station. My little packing station. My bags and my little cards i got this from walmart yesterday so I said, let me get organized get myself together my little containers okay my little thank you stickers and stuff and i got my i weigh my items myself and i go on etsy and i don't gotta worry about doing nothing i just go ahead and weigh my items measure my items with my little measuring tape right here i got my weight my little scale but over there i, I should put it over here but i ain't got no outlet so I, I put it over there because i plug in my scale on my computer i weigh it measure it or whatever and i put i uh, get the invoice off of etsy and I take it to the post office, my little my little bucket they gave me. Put it in here. 
and I go. I don't even gotta go in. I can just put it in the mailbox and be done with it. Okay, so that's a little thing I had to throw in real quick while I'm over here on this side on the side of the room. I can show y'all my little packing station. So now let me go ahead. I got the heat bound on my little fabric. I'm gonna be using for the shirt. I got the um wrinkle the um rough side on the fabric part. Okay. Make sure you cover that um sticky part up because you don't want that to be on your on your machine. So make sure everything is covered up. You put it, go ahead and place it down. Let the heat hit it. Okay, then put some paper on top of it. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay. I'm using my small printer today. My, I'm using my small. Let me turn it over. We gotta turn it turn it on the back side. Turn the um paper over so you'll be heating the heating the paper on the on the um on there. So y'all just do it like about five seconds, okay? Okay. Y'all don't mind my little um my notes. You see all my sticky notes on that board? That's supposed to be my, my little sign, my little logo or whatever. But girl, I'll be putting stuff on there because I need sticky notes on there. And it's my heat press. So everything over here is like little little notes to tell me how many seconds and minutes I need to put on stuff so I won't burn up nothing, okay? So that's what you see on there. All them little sticky notes, it saves my life. Because if I don't have that, I wouldn't know. I'll be like, what? What? And it's right there in front of my heat press. So now I saw here, make sure it's on here. So now you just pull the paper off of it. And now you have this nice little heat and bond on here. It's heat and bond light. So you can be able to basically heat this on your shirt after you get done embroidering. So when I get done embroidery, I'm going to heat this on. And on the back of the shirt, when the, on the, on the inside of the shirt, I'm going to put on some tender touch so this... The thread and stuff won't scratch the baby skin. Okay. So okay. So we got that part done. Let me show y'all how to put use this mighty hoop. Who else on here have a um six needle machine or embroidery machine that's watching right now? Say I do. You see, you say I do on here so I can know who got his machine out here. Girl, y'all got the t-shirt thing right here. But I don't use it. It's confused. It's not confusing, but I just rather do it. Put this stuff on the table and do it on the table, okay? I got the little t-shirt thing. I spend it. Girl, I like spending money. So I, I like spending money. Look at this. I got one. What's this? Oh, my phone acting crazy. My phone acting crazy, y'all. I got one of these um hoop, the mighty hoops. Uh, what is this thing called? Stations or whatever. You put. They're supposed to make it real good when you put stuff on the shirt, on the onesie or whatever. Girl, I ain't about to use this because that's when I used it. I jacked up. The, I mean, I didn't. I just it just didn't feel comfortable to me because I was able to just put it on the table. So if y'all wondering, like, should you get one of these? I don't think so. Unless you're doing a shirt with like a um a pa uh, a corner. Let me see. I love me some Maddie Hoops. I made one of Brody best friends. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, if you're doing like a, a patch or something on the side or either a logo or something on the side of a shirt, this probably be good for you to use it. But girl, just doing a regular shirt or either a, um a onesie. I don't. I used it one time and I was like, nah. I just said no. I don't like it. So I put it on the on the table and did it just fine on the table. I'm getting my mighty hoops up, y'all. I just got my machine a couple weeks ago, so I got those mighty hoops so far. Okay, and that's the regular hoops already down there. I'm trying to put stuff on the wall because I'm gonna wear it to put them because everything else I got stuff everywhere. Serger, my sewing machine. I got everything right here. My machine back here. My um printers. My cinch up there. My other babies. My three. I got a uh. All three. I got two um, crickets and I got one cameo. And I got my six by nine hoop, five by seven hoop, then my five, four by four hoop. My big baby. Somebody said they didn't see me doing that live. I did a live on it the other day because I did some pillowcases. Okay, so check out that live. You can check it out again. You can watch it over again. What was I doing, y'all? Okay, let me um <laughs> put this back on here. So I'm ready to come over here to this. Oh, I'm showing y'all the dang on hoop master thing that I don't even use. Yeah, I got a lot of toys, y'all. I spend a lot of money, but my business is making making it great for me. So this is the hoop. Like I said, I don't use that little thing that I could have been using. I pay money on it. I don't use it because it's just like, ugh. Like, use a table. Get some, get this nice, clean table and use your table, y'all. Okay. So now this is my first time doing a onesie, y'all. So let's see. This is a six by nine mighty hoop. I'm going to take this off. And you always remember the warning side go up. And then this part right here goes towards your belly. This part right here goes to your belly. And then this part, the warning side goes up. I'm going to open this up. And figure out how to put this onesie on here. Because I never did a onesie before. This is like a shirt though, but just smaller. So I'll put this over here. They, be careful because they really snap real fast. So. 
Oh, that's what I got to do. <laughs> so I put this, basically, I put this inside the onesie. Okay? Open this onesie up. I already did my lint roller. I already heated it up. With, and I tried to put that little um, line in the middle of it. But also, I learned this tech, this, um, this, this technique from um, Angela. She does a lot of videos. I know who Angela is. It's right here. Where's that little dot at? It's a dot, she said. It, it basically, it's a dot on your mighty hoop to show you the center. I'm gonna look, it might be on this part right here then. I don't know, I gotta look for it. Where's that dot at? But anyway, the warning sign right here, and as long as the um the tag is between these two things, it's in the middle. So here's the tag, it's the, also the center of the shirt, and then the line was right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it like this, and I always put my shirt up. So I want to have to make it, I make sure the shirt go up. So it's, when it snap it, it'll snap the um the 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 neckline on top. Okay, the next time the neck the neckline is on top of the hoop. When it snaps, it'll be on top of the hoop. Okay, not inside the hoop. You get what I'm saying? And then just line your your, your um sides up, your side seams up with the um with the hoop. Oh, I did this wrong, y'all. I think I did this wrong. We gonna see. Yeah, I did it wrong. What in the world did I do? <laughs> this is not supposed to be like this. See, I'm, I'm goofing up on the, on the live. Like I always do. Y'all used to me. I could have sworn this is how you do this. I'm still getting used to it, but I know you're supposed to snap it like this. You're supposed to go bloop. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. Shirt cannot go on top of this dang on hoop. So how the heck? I know that's not how that's how it go though. You can't do it that way. It's got to go the other way. It's got to be like this. So I got it on backwards. That's what the problem is. I got the dang on mighty hoop on backwards. Okay. So let me turn this around. I'm gonna get it one day, y'all. Turn this around. This is on backwards. So let me turn, sweep it, sweep, and turn it this way. Okay. So the, the warning sign will be on the back. But I thought the warning sign was supposed to be towards this. But the warning sign is the warning sign on the hoop too, on that part too. So I just got it confused. So you put it on, the magnet side goes in front of in front of you, and then the um the hoop goes. Oh, there's the warning sign. See the so the storm. The warning sign still go away from you. See, I got that right, but I had it the uh, this hoop on backwards. Okay, so make sure the magnet part is facing you. I'm new with this, y'all, but you know I always goof up on lives. That's just me. If y'all ain't know me by now. Charmaine always mess up on lies. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I made sure everything's centered. I pulled it up so the um neckline can go on top of the um hoop. Okay, and now the warning sign still goes in front of you, and now it should work, y'all. Yay! <laughs> I did it. So next time I know the magnet is still still it's still going to my belly though. I just had the other one upside down, I had it backwards. Okay, so now you see. It's kind of loose in here. See how loose it is? So I'm going to go ahead and pull it. So it's going to be a little bit more tight up there. Pull it on each side. So the sides can be tight. Because last shirt I did, I did a shirt and it was like, what happened? I forgot to tighten it up on each side. If you don't, it's going to be really loose. Okay. So let me see how now this. It's tight, tighter than it was. So let's just see if I can do a little bit more. And then I'll show you the dot that, um, what's her name? I'm, I was telling you about. Just pull it a little bit tighter so it can be tight. Okay, so then you see this dot right here? It's in the middle of the shirt. See that dot? So if remember, now I can't see my, um, my line, but. That dot to tell you that's the middle of the shirt. So make sure your line is in the middle of the shirt. And also remember your tag. So if that's matching your tag, which is right there, tag is centered, that means it's centered, okay? So that's the dot she was saying, that that dot will tell you if your shirt, your shirt is centered. So everything looks good. I got my um neckline. My um neck is up above. I like to have my neckline up above here so you can still see the neckline up here so it was not in the hoop it's outside the hoop okay okay there we go and then make sure when you put it on the hoop you're gonna i'm gonna show you to pull it out some let's say this is my first onesie y'all i did a shirt before <laughs> i did like three shirts now so let me put my chair out because i like to be lazy i like to sit down when i 
when I work. And I'm just basically push this in here. Make sure when I, I pull this neckline out some, so it won't um the shirt stretch it out some, so it can go under this, in between this right here, this little knob right here. Well, that's where the um thread is. I mean the bobbin thread is. So I just scoot this in here. Oh, scoot this in here. I just oil my machine. Already did that. Snap that in here real good. Okay, that's in there. So now I'll just go ahead and put my hand under here. Make sure it's under there. Yep, everything is good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my now, um, I'm gonna set my stabilizer right under there. I cut it a little bit. I need to cut it some more because it's kind of tight, but it should be cool. Scoot it. I'm gonna cut it some more. It's kind of kind of tight under there. What y'all working on something tonight? What y'all working on? love this new machine i love it too girl i love it too you don't know it's it was it was kind of um scary working with it if y'all see my live y'all see that i bumped the needle y'all because my crazy butt didn't have my hoop all the way on there so i was trying to get on here and show y'all my little machine and i bumped the needle because when you use the mighty hoops you gotta make sure you um you do it right and make sure you um i had everything right but i just didn't put the, the, the hoop all the way in there right and it didn't it hit the needle girl i thought i was about to have a heart attack i thought i was gonna break my needle but it didn't break the needle so everything worked out good and everything worked out. I'm looking under here. Make sure everything looks good under there. Everything looks good. Okay. Let me go get my, my drive out of my computer. Got my flash drive. Put it inside my computer. I'll bring y'all up some. So you can see what I'm doing up here. Yeah, I can't see y'all questions right now. Let me see what y'all saying before I put this in here. Watching you for over four hours. <laughs> I appreciate you. She said she crocheted. I'm gonna learn how to crochet, but I just can't do it. I tried. Guess me gotta love me some shadow box. What's that? The shadow box. Um, vinyl. Are you doing? Oh, you doing shadow boxes? Okay. You doing keychains? Okay. I'm embroidering some towels for Mother's Day. Okay. I was gonna do some. I just don't like the way the towels look. I need to show me your towels when you get done. I'm just like, oh my god, why is all this stuff on the back of the towels? I just need to see how to do it a better way. I guess I don't know. I was going to do some towels for my mother for about, so I was like, no, nah, that's just whatever. Ooh, scrunchy sounds fun, too. Um, show me your towels when you get done. Um, so deep. Are you on my channel, on my Facebook group? Oh, you did embroidery key, key chains, Diana. You're doing vinyl shirts. I haven't did a lot of vinyl. I've, been, I've done a lot of vinyl, but as I got my sublimation, I haven't really been doing that much vinyl. But I'm going to do some more. I did this shirt for me. I'm going to do some more vinyl, too, just so I can have them, so I can start wearing them while I'm doing my lives. I need to just write a note to myself on the Mighty Hoops. Yes, they, they fun to do. Like I said, I'll be writing on my stuff too. You see, I put the size on there so I can make sure I got the right size so I won't hit no needle. But I'll be writing stuff down too because I'll be forgetting. But yeah, that um, I need to do that too. I need to put front back so I know. But it, it, right now, it, it shows you that it's the magnet part. I got to remember that's the magnet part that goes on the front. But I just was used to using the, seeing the, the um, warning sign. I thought the warning sign went on the front. But now I know. I'm making that mistake. I know that now that the the magnet side go on top because it's got a hook on to the magnet duh when you do this you gotta hit make sure that magnet you can tell you can tell it's magnet because it's kind of shiny so now i know but you know i just gotta goof on my live y'all y'all know i gotta do something backwards or it ain't gonna be right without it without me goofing up okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and push this button right here y'all see that i can't see what y'all seeing now because i got the phone facing the, com the um computer i mean the machine okay so i gotta make sure i um so don't ask no questions yet. So I can't see y'all. Then I'm going to go ahead and push this right here, that button. And it's going to tell me I have my, this is the only thing I have on this little um drive. It's a brand new drive, flash drive. So I got a brand new one for the, just for this machine. So I did this shirt. This shirt I did that on live one day. I did this t-shirt too. I did a really good job on the t-shirt. I'm going to show y'all in a minute because I like showing y'all my stuff. Cause this <laughs> Let me show y'all. I made a skirt to go with it. Here it is, right here. My little sample for my, my um. Hey, hey, hey. We working on mugs. I just did. We just did a mug on my other live, y'all. Um, one that we did a, just did a, we did two mugs and a coaster. On my live that we y'all just that this result happening a few minutes ago. And she killed y'all. I did her on my machine. Oh, is this my first. This time my first time doing a onesie. I lied to y'all. 
Girl, I forgot I did this onesie. This is my second onesies, okay? This is my second onesie. And I like these onesies because they have like this little um if you're doing if you have like a one needle machine, these are this is really good for one. I love these for one needle machine, but now I can use this now. But if you're looking for onesies that button from the back like this, y'all, oh my god, it's the bomb. Um, you get these from BB Crab. BB, let me see. Thanks Creations, okay? Check them out. And you can use these on your single needle. You don't gotta worry about flipping and flopping on your one needle machine. You can just open it up and use this. I love these, okay? Even though now I don't even use it. My one machines. I use my machines though, but I used to do all my shirts on this and I do my patches and stuff on that one. But if I want to do two shirts at the same time, I can use these from um BB. I mean Blanks Blanks Blank Boutique, okay? So yes, I love that. Um and then I get the skirt to go with it. Check out my website if you're looking for kids' clothes. This is a Ray a Sunshine Boutique. Okay. If you see if you don't see anything on there that you like, let me know. I can personalize it for you. Looking for any kind of characters, any kind of pictures, whatever. I can care, I can make that outfit special for your little one. Okay. A Ray of Sunshine Boutique. And um 2020 on Etsy. What else I'm about to show y'all? Okay, I did that. Now we doing today, we're gonna be doing this um to match my little shirts, my little shorts that I made for my little twinsies. I got two twins that go to my set of twins that go to my daycare, a girl and a boy. So today we're doing Jordan shirt. His name is Jordan. This is for Journey. Let's get it popping, y'all. Let's go back over here. Yes, you can't do as much sublimation. This guy's name. Yes, you can do so much. You can sublimate me umbrellas. Okay? Sublimate a lot of different stuff. I got a video on how to sublimate umbrellas. And I got a video on show you how to I mean how to put vinyl on umbrellas too if you're interested in vinyl. Come on now, focus. Can y'all see that? Seems like it's not focusing now. Okay. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now let me go ahead and um click on this. I'm, this is the name I'm doing right here. So now I gotta put make sure I got the right hoop in there. That's a six by four. This is all I need is six by four. So that's cool. But what hoop do I have in here? But that's, um, let me just make sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit. Six by four. So that's fitting the hoop. So let me go ahead and push set. And let me go ahead and um in edit so I can be, see if I, I gotta trace it. So I'm push in edit. Girl, I'm still learning this, but now I know the size is good. It's inside of here. It's inside the hoop. So let me go ahead and push in edit so I can trace it. So let's go ahead and trace it right here. As long as that needle was in there, it's all good. And I used to watch videos on YouTube and I'm like, wait a minute, all them other, why are all them other needles out? It's gonna hit the hoop. But it's not the needle, it's just the red dot right there that I've learned. <laughs> and sometimes I be thinking like, I got a stain on my shirt. I'm like, girl, no, that's the red dot. I was doing my last live, I'm like, why is it a red stain on my shirt? It's the infrared <laughs> needle. So if, as long as this light is inside your hoop, you good. But when I watch the videos, I'm like, wait, that's gonna hit the hit. All them needles is out of there. But I'm learning y'all, so it's gonna be all right. So that's how you work it. There it is. Let me do it one more time because I wasn't looking at it. Okay, it's cool. That's going to be a big one. I think the image is kind of... This might be a little bit too big. I might make it a little bit smaller. Um, This looks kind of big for it. I'm going to be able to... What y'all think? Is 6x4 too big for uh, an infant? For a onesie? Or is that okay? Y'all that one's got this big old machine... Six by four, or should I go down to a five by four? Six going up and down and four going side by side. Should I make it a five by four? Y'all be helping me a lot. Hey, Mika. Is five, six by four good or should I do a five by four? On this onesie. It seems like it's going to be, a, I don't want the whole shirt to be the big old, big old one in her stomach. Smartest what I thought. Okay, Pamela. I'm going to do it by, um, that's a nice size screen. This screen two by three. Okay, a five by four. Okay, thank y'all. I was thinking about that. Let me see. I'm like, no, I like it's too big. I don't want the whole belly to be a. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a four by four. So I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna go ahead and size. And I'm gonna go up. And I'm gonna go in. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like a five. Points. Let me see. I'm gonna go that way. So I'm gonna bring it in. 
Let's see, this ain't going no smaller than that. Okay. So that's cool. It ain't gonna make me go small. So that's cool. So now it's a 5.57 by 3.4. So it's smaller than what it was, okay? Because that's, that's kind of big for a onesie. So I'm gonna mark my, make sure I make these points down as far as the um the sizes so I can know. So 5 by 4 for now on one is gonna be my onesie size. Can I push OK? I wonder if I wanna make it, make it smaller. That's crazy. I like the width of it, but I just wanted to make it smaller. Okay, so okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got my color. Only, the only color I'm going to use is the red because I'm going to make. Y'all think it's going to be. What color should I use? I'm Y'all helping me out because I just like y'all helping. So this is the color of the, of the skirt. I don't want to use any dark colors. I want something that's going to be popping, make that pop. So the, you see the design right here is the one in Jordan. Okay, so y'all can help me out with this shirt. This is going to be the outline of the one. Inside the one, it's going to be this fabric. So what color, I was thinking about red. Do y'all think red or gold? I want something that's going to pop or white. I want something that's pop because it's already a dark color. So I want something that's going to make, um, outline the, the number one and the name. What color should I use, y'all? Red, white, or gold. And a boy, it's a boy and a girl. Gold? Okay, I was thinking about that too. I was thinking about gold. But then I said, let me think. Red, my, red, red goes with everything. It's kind of hard to think what goes with this Camelot stuff. So y'all yeah, think gold. Okay, good. Because gold is on my thing. I ain't got to worry about changing the color. Good. And it's for a boy. So I was thinking like gold for a boy. Hmm. So that's why I say a red. Okay. We're going to do gold because y'all chose the gold. Everybody like gold. I like gold too, but I just saw it because it's a boy. It'll be red. So now that I know we're going to use gold. And gold is in my number six um thing. So that's why we're using this gold. One color, y'all. Easy peasy. I love it. Somebody say red. I'm going to do gold. Um, Because everybody said gold first. I was thinking gold, red, or white. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, um, she said no red. <laughs> okay, I was just sure. Was gonna, if I want to ask y'all, girl, it would have been red, okay? See, I'm still getting trying to get used to picking colors. I'm not really good at picking colors. I'll be, I be trying, y'all. I'll be trying. So I got gold on this. I'm going to go ahead and put in, in edit. Let me just size this one more time because I changed the size. Just being careful because it's a mighty hoop. Of course, I know it's gonna work because it's smaller than the other design, but, but I'm being careful, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I work, I work my machine. I'm gonna go ahead and push embroidery. Now I'm gonna make sure I get, change my thread. So all this is gonna be gold, okay? So I'm gonna be using number six is my gold. So I'm gonna push six. I ain't gonna do that, but yeah. So, girl. Yeah, I'm still learning, so just bear with me. <laughs> Go. There we go. So this is gonna be six. This is gonna be six. And this is gonna be six. So all of my colors is six because I got gold on there. Then I'm gonna push okay. Okay. So everything is six. And I'm gonna go ahead and push stop reserve because it's an applique. So I'm gonna push stop reserve so it'll stop it every time so I know that I need to put that um lining the, the fabric on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and push lock i think everything is set we got it we got it we got it. 13 minutes to do this let's do it y'all so i push lock and here we go uh-oh my thread probably need to be changed oh it's working it's kind of hanging there it was hanging i love to watch this thing work is it not too loud for y'all I back some. I love this thing, y'all. What size is your onesie? Is it 12 to 18 months? Okay, I made it stop for me. So now it's time for me to put the, the fabric on here. So here's the fabric. Let's see where I want to put it at so it can be a lot of green in there on both sides. I'm going green on hers too, though. So if I put it right here, it's going to be all green. I'll do it like this so it can be green and black in there. And then hers will be green and black too. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And then I just cut it out all so I don't have to worry about wasting no fabric. I just cut it all out when I'm getting done with it, okay? I could put a piece in there and just cut it, but I just ready to put the whole thing in there and cut it out later. Okay? So there we have it. My my um cutaway is under here. It feels good. This is in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push go again. Okay. Lock. 
and go. gonna stop because I put it on reserve stop and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and I love this machine y'all because I can just slide this, this drawer out I can just push this button right here and somebody made me so happy somebody was like I had my machine for eight years and um I didn't know about this this function so I push okay and push this function right here and I'm gonna push this so it can slide on out it's gonna say okay and look at that it comes to me. I thought, oh, I taught her something and I just got mine. I feel good when I can teach somebody something and I had something for a long time. I be watching videos, y'all. That's how I learn how I, every, I learn everything. Okay. And I got I like to use this long, these curved scissors right here. Or I got um these curved scissors too. When I do after K. But these longer because I can be able to get up if I'm closer or these. So yes, I love it. So I'm gonna use my big scissors just to cut this piece off real quick. Ooh, this magnet be scaring me because it be sticking my stuff, be sticking to it. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't stick. So I'm going to use this fabric for the other girl's shirt tomorrow. I'm not doing her shirt today. I'm just doing one shirt today. Um, So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick. I love this, y'all. I love creating new things. Period. I don't care what kind of machine it is. I'm creating new. But now I still know how to sew. Oh my God, my, my, my um, chair keep on swinging around. So I know how to sew now. It's just so fun creating stuff. And I just love to show y'all because I never knew, think I was, thought I was going to sew before in my life. Like, sewing is boring. Why would you want, why would somebody want to know how to sew? And now that I got started sewing, I'm like, this is so much fun. Be careful so you won't cut your dang on shirt. Or your stitch. I just love this pull out, this pull out uh, creature. <laughs> pull it on now. Girl, my, my dang on chair keep on, it's like a chair, it rolls. I mean, it swings, a swing away chair. It's swing on me, it's pushing me around. It's moving me. See, right here, I need to get the longer scissors and my hands in the way of the needle. So this is better to use this. And I ain't gotta worry about it. Look at that. I can cut it real good now since my hand was, the needles was in my way. Okay, and like I said, when I get done with the shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and press this shirt with the heat and bond and the other stuff to put you put on the inside of the shirt so it won't, you know, scratch your baby's skin. Look at this thing on magnet. Stop it, get my scissors back. Cut it close to the um to the stitch so you can be able to um get that nice satin stitch to cover it up. I'm gonna show y'all how it look in a minute as soon as I finish getting it cut out real quick. And I like to take it off. If I wasn't on this live, I'd still take it off because it's better to take it off the um thing because you can get it real good because you got to twist your body. Do I, maybe if I stand up, maybe it'll work. I'm like, I'm up here being lazy. Just stand up, Charmaine. You can, dip, you can get it. <laughs> Look at me trying to be in a dog on chair. Just lazy. So now I can get a better angle. So somebody taught me, uh, one of y'all on this live, I don't know who it was. I was doing a live and I was talking to somebody and I was like, I cannot cut worth the thing. I cannot cut. When I'm sewing, like when you get in your patterns and stuff, and I be trying to cut the patterns out or whatever, make sure the fabric's cut straight. And you know I sit down when I cut. And it was like, just stand up. Girl, let me tell you. When I stand up, it's so much easier when you cut, when you stand up. I never would have thought that, y'all. <laughs> I like to sit down and sew, whatever. But when you stand up, it's so much better. Like She's like, just stand up. I was like, wow. I thought she was being funny. But she wasn't being funny because it's really easier to cut when you stand up. Especially when you're trying to make cut on fabric and stuff. So I'll be learning so much. Y'all y'all tell me y'all teach y'all stuff. Y'all be teaching me stuff too. Cause I believe me, I don't know everything. I don't know much at all. But I learn. But I love learning. And once I learn it, I come to y'all and I tell y'all what I've learned. Okay, I can get my lint roller too and just get all this out. But it's cool. Okay, let me see what y'all say. I remember that live. You remember? <laughs> she was like, stand up. I was like, oh, my hair looking. Y'all got me going these lies, girl. I need to go condition my hair. That's what I need to do. Get some oil up in this stuff. Let's see. Looks, That looks tacky. I mean, look, she always said it looks tacky. <laughs> I'm like, dang, girl. Okay. And so she said, it looked tricky. What looked tricky? 
Thank you, Nelly. You could have went. Yeah, I could have went larger, but I, that big. I mean, I didn't want to go too much big because that six. That looked kind of big. Um, for the it looked like it was gonna be way through her belly button to his belly button. Remember the library didn't make me make me money. Okay, I did. Fabulosis. Um, I want to cut out something with those scissors. <laughs> they, they sweet. Look at these scissors, these curved scissors. Look. And it's so much easier to do these because they curve. Look at that. And these is longer. So you can use these because when your hands is in the way, just use these. They're longer. And they they sharp. They, they cool. They good. They good. Okay, let's go. We about to be done, y'all. We got to do that lining, the satin stitch or whatever. So now we on the, um, I'll push OK. Oh, I'm going to put your case so we can slide this thing back open here. Let me show y'all how it's going to go back in like a transformer. Look. Hey. <laughs> it's like transformer. Girl. What that cartoon used to watch when they used to have all that, that, all that stuff? The Jetsons. Girl. Funny. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and push. Um, Now we're on my second color, which is a satin stitch. And then we're going to name and we'll be done. So let's go ahead and push um Lock. And okay, we're gonna do the satin stitch around this number one. It's gonna be gold, like y'all said. Like y'all told me to do. Okay, I can look at y'all um at the same time while y'all looking at this. What y'all talking about? I think that's a nice size for a onesie. Really? You embroidered by hand, Bridget? Girl, I couldn't do it. I really wouldn't put a needle on my hand. I don't want to use a needle to sew, okay? They be like, they be like when I be doing these bows and stuff, they be like, you gotta use a needle on thread. Oh, heck you no, know, I ain't using no needle on thread. If I can't use my sewing machine, I ain't sewing it. Look at that, That's, I love the way satin stitch look. Look at that. I love the way that thread be coming out. On that. I just love how that looks. All thick and nice, and I don't even. <laughs> oh, I love it. That gold is pretty, and I love me some gold, but my brain was telling me to go over here. So I'm so glad I asked y'all. Because you know how you always be doing, like, everybody be doing that, um, Doing like leopard and, and, and tiger, and all that you know, different kind of uh, I said tiger, leopard and cheetah and stuff. They always say red goes good with that stuff, but you know, this, this is um, what is this called? I can't like you said a few minutes ago. Um, cameo, I never used cameo before, so um, I was like, hmm, I just go with red because everybody do cheetah print and everything would go with red, but it goes really popping, yes, it does, and goes are good with brown too, you know what I'm saying? So that's about a brown in there. So I'm glad y'all told me to change my mind because, girl, that would have been red. Yes, it's fast, honey. It's fast. But the other, it's some one mach needle machine that's fast. My um brother, NQ1600, is fast, too. But yeah, this is definitely faster. It's going 800 seconds. Is it seconds per minute? It's a SPM. So it's gotta be going 800, um, right here and say 800 SPM. If y'all can see that, if I can change that for me to go down or for me to go up. But right now it's going 800 SPM. Okay? It can go down if I wanted to go down, but it's not the highest. I think it go all the way to 1,000. But I keep it at 100. I mean, I keep it at 800. That is, oh my God, that goat is popping. Hey. It's only gonna take about 13 minutes to do, so we'll be done with this, y'all. Go ahead and ask questions. I'm looking at the phone. I can ask y'all questions. Um, no, it's how many stitches is it? It's 7,454 stitches for this whole thing. Look how fast that's going. Let me show y'all the stitching. The numbers right here, the top is for the stitches right here. This is how many we got going. This is how many we have to go. It's 13 minutes out of, you know, five minutes out of 13 minutes. We're on our eight minutes right now. Let me tell you everything we're doing right here. And we're going um, 800, 800 um, speed. 
I hope y'all can see that. Yeah, it's not bad at all. The, the thread chain, I thought it was gonna be a headache, but if you tie your thread, let me show you. If you tie your thread, like basically you can, if that's the thread we use right there. So I'm gonna put another thread right there, I can just tie it right here and I just pull it. I take it and I pull it right from here. I just pull the thread out from right there and just pull it and bring it on out and that's easy. And it'll go from here, you go, it'll go from here to here. Well, I don't wanna touch it. To here, go around there. Around here, down here, down here, down here, around here, down here. <laughs> Seem like a lot, and then it go loop de loop up here, down here, and then it go right to the needle thread. Seem like a lot, but like I said, if you just tie a knot on that thread to the thread you want it to be on, it's, it, 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 you pull it through. You pull it through. And everybody wants. Last time I had a live, and I did that, and they, somebody told me to do it one knot. I can't do one knot. I'm not good with one knots. I gotta do two knots, and I and I can pull all the way through. But some people say they could just do one knot and tie it. But me, I guess I can't tie a good knot. Cause I had to put it in two knots. And it, if I did it in one knot, the, the thread always break when I'm trying to pull it through here. So here's the, all the tension right here. All that, all the different colors. And bring it on down. So almost done with the satin stitch, y'all. Oh, you do, okay, you do, I'm coming down, the only one then, Sherry. So yeah, I had to do, somebody was like, just do one knot. I'm like, uh, I tried it, like, no, nah, I'm gonna stay with my two knots. Well, I'm, I ain't good at tying knots, I guess. Look at that, y'all. I'm so happy y'all changed my colors, my mind for being red, because that would have been red. So now his name gonna be gold, and we all done, y'all. This is a quick video. Oh, it didn't stop. Cool, it went right on to it. I thought it was gonna stop. I said reserve stop, but didn't listen. <laughs> And this is a snicker font. I use a snicker font for boys. It's kind of cool for boys. I'm gonna do her sister shirt tomorrow. His name is Jordan and her name is Journey. Any questions? I'm watching the phone right now. I can answer your questions if you have any questions. This is what I have right here. It's the Entrepreneur 6 P um, Plus PR670. Hope, hope it ain't too loud. And I love these black ones. I, mean, I don't really like black because it's so dark for little kids. But I thought this would be better to use a black shirt with that um with that instead of a white shirt. What y'all think? I don't know why that's doing that. My thread loose or something? I know I can cut it, but why is it doing that loopy loop right there? That attention problem, whoever got a six needle, let me know why he's doing this. That little loop. Oh, Gavin and Giovanni. They're eight years old. Y'all got a set of twins. Their birthday coming up um, at my daycare. So I'm going to go ahead and get this outfit to them. I'm making some more stuff for them. Too. Everything I, every time I make something, I just make it 12 months so I give it to them. But I also basically use this stuff for samples on my um because it's a brand new site my my children's site is brand new so i don't have it i just even do regular samples that i make or i make samples for them and i just give it to them and you will see journey the little twin you'll see her on my website because i had her she's my model she modeled my headbands my little bows and stuff she modeled everything so you'll see her picture on my website if you go to my um etsy page array of sunshine boutique I mean, Array of Sunshine 2020 on Etsy. Okay, you need some gold bee patches? Just go ahead and um, go to my site. And I can personal, I can um, digitize it for you and I can make it for you. If you, got the, if you got the picture of it, send a picture to me so I can see how you want it. If you got the picture, if not, I can find some pictures. But if you have it, that'd be even greater because I can know what you really want. So go ahead and in my, inbox me on Facebook. Okay, so this is how it looks up here. How fast it's going. Look at that. That's the stitch right there. How many stitches is going? We got uh we got three more minutes and we'll be done. This machine was how much was this machine? Girl, let me lie, I forgot. <laughs> oh my god, how much was this machine? I want to say six thousand. 
I love that boat. Five thousand, okay. I think mine was six thousand. Yeah, it was six thousand. It was a little bit over six thousand for real. I believe it. And I got the table to it. I just got the um. But in crazy thought, I just seen that receipt on my upstairs. I'm like, what? What did I buy with that much money? <laughs> I just seen the receipt in my room. I gotta go check it out. It was like three. It was like seven something. I mean, it was six something. No, I don't know y'all. Girl, I think I'm, girl, I'm pretty sure. But I know it's over six thousand. I'm thinking it was eight thousand, fabulous. I think mine was eight thousand too. I'm pretty sure because I remember. I don't know. It's between six and eight thousand. <laughs> but I know it definitely wasn't six. So I just say between seven and eight thousand. That's a shame. Yeah, I was waiting. It took me. A, it took me a whole month for me to get my machine. A whole month. It was after, because I told it I ordered it, like, at the beginning of the month. They told me it'd be back, it'd be ready at the end of the month. And I didn't get it until, like, two weeks after. Girl, you know, I was waiting, waiting. Yeah, I could make sides, I could make patches 4x4, four 5x7, four, or 6x9. But now I got this big old machine, I can make it bigger. But I don't know about making bigger, bigger patches than 6x9. So I do 4x4, four 5x7, four, and 6x9 patches. Patches. Yeah, if you if you're a beginner, well, I was a beginner too. I had my other, I had the other machines over there. I had these machines at one, two, three. Um, <laughs> I bought this one first. This, excuse my ring light, but this one right here, that's the only a four by four hoop. I was like, man, why I get this machine? Four by four ain't, ain't nothing for me. But if you're just doing patches, four by four patches, that'd be cool. But I bought this machine because you could do it embroidery and um, sewing. So I was like, if I don't like embroidery, then I can go ahead and sew on it. Okay, so that's why I got that one. Got it from Walmart. Then I got this like a week later, girl. About a week later, okay? That's a five by seven. Cause I just was like, four by four, what? I'm about to just put that onto the side, sew with that, and then use this. So this is a PE 800. I love this machine, it's the beast. I'm telling you, this mug don't let me down for nobody and nothing. I call her the beast. Even though she's smaller than this one, she's the beast, okay? Um, She will not let you down. So then I bought this one probably a month later because I'm like a five by seven. I need more because I want to do more stuff. I want to do sweatshirts. I want to do a lot of stuff. So I said, let me go ahead and do this one. This one was like 1500 maybe 1600 between 13 and 1600 for this one. This is a one needle two, but it's a 10, it's an eight by 10 uh, hoop. Okay. And I like it because it's bigger. Of course, the, the hoop is bigger. Now I'm able to do sweatshirts and stuff. I could put logo and I could put like words on sweatshirts going across the chest. And that's the reason why. Because it's the way the hoop is made. You can go long way, but you still can't go down ways. You know what I'm saying? If y'all understand that. If y'all don't understand that, I can show y'all the hoop. But, um, and that's why I was like, man, I need to go bigger. And I wanted, I'm tired of changing thread. So then I was like, this took me, I had this, I had those for like a year, okay? So now it's been a year. Now I got this thing right here. And this is the hoop. It looks like this hoop right here. Is, it goes, see how it goes long ways, uh, wide, like width. The width is this way. On that hoop over there okay so this is the way that it goes this way if i can see this i'm trying to put it so y'all can see it it goes this way on that hoop over there but they don't have any hoops that's like this like square like this so it's hard to do shirts on one needles because they squares it's not like this it's always wide like this like you can't really do like a a big image going down to the belly but you can go side by side uh, big but you can't go down to the belly big you know what i'm saying <laughs> as the length you can go a wide width but you can't do a wide length because a long width because of the machine okay i hope i'll explain it to y'all can you embroider hats on this machine okay let me tell y'all about this one i would not well if you well, look at that y'all let me show y'all that real quick and i'm going to take it off the hoop but um y'all uh to embroider hats on this machine you have to have a hat hoop this machine the six the six needle you gotta have a hat hoop i believe you do but girl on that on that um p8 p800 if you just want to do hats get the p800 when i bought the p800 it was only like 500 dollars. now it's like a thousand okay everybody and their mama doing these stuff because everybody getting their own business and stuff and they just going off with sewing and stuff so they just like look they and everybody right raising their prices okay so that's like a thousand dollars now it might be cheaper somewhere where you at but right now where i'm at it's like a thousand dollars for that dang on 800 p800 and i only paid like 400 or 500 dollars for that, that p800 right before the pandemic i bought it at walmart okay and it's up high now okay so now 
Okay, let's see how it looks. I like that size. That's a good size because, um, you know, it's a baby. So I'm going to do a 5 by 4 for my babies. And like I said, I like to keep my samples so I can look at them. <laughs> and I can be like, okay, let me see what size I did that. And I can still save it inside the machine too, but it's always good to have something like this in my face. But at least I'm giving this away though. I'm giving this away. But that gold is popping. Ooh, wait. Now I know what goes good with um with um this kind of image. Can't think of the damn thing on name of it. So I just pull this off the top. It's really tight. Who that thing tight? Now I know that this is the magnet part. The magnet part goes up, the charm, and the warning part goes on the back. So I'm going to write that down on here so I can know that this is the back. I mean, it's the front because it's the magnet. And this is the back. The warning sign goes on the back. But I was looking for this part to look at me. But now I know that the warning I'm looking for was this right here. This warning part. That's what I was looking for. It goes in front of me. So that's why I got mixed up. I was looking for this warning sign. And I had the wrong one. So I got it now. So I'm going to put this back on here. Let me see how, look how fast it snaps on here. Look at this, y'all. Watch this. I did it again. I did it backwards again. <laughs> look. Look at this. Watch this. Girl, it's gonna it's gonna scare y'all. Be scared. It's gonna snap. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> it's like a woo, a friction, girl. I shoot. That thing ain't no joke. These mighty hoops is strong. You better watch your fingers, watch your toes, <laughs> watch your everything. Okay. So now I got this done. I got this done. <laughs> y'all be laughing at me. Girl, have me shaking. I'm only well hundred or something. I'm only a buck fifty. Not even a buck fifty. Maybe I am. That thing had me shaking. Like ooh. Let me shake it in my bones. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around. This is tear away. So I can just tear this off. Okay. I ain't gotta cut. But some people use cut away. People say use cut away, but I use tear away. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and shake this off. And I'm gonna put that uh tear that uh silky on the back of it so it won't this right here won't well it's all about to come off then, huh? Keep I'm gonna keep that on there. Somebody said keep it on there because so it won't mess up so i'm gonna leave that on there they said cut they tear around the outside but leave the inside in so people do it differently they, and i said okay i'm gonna just listen to see how that works they said don't wash your way in the washer i was kind of confused i was like y'all keep that in there want to wash your way in the washer they was like no it won't so then i'm gonna go ahead i like the way this is because you can just pull this out you can pull it out like this and you can measure it to how you want it put on that shirt boom bam cover that part up and i'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors and cut cut what i need to have cut off Cause I don't need these big old pieces of onesie, so I don't need all of this. Okay. Cut the side, so I don't have to use all this. Cut it, cut it, cut it. You need to cut it. <laughs> I used to should use my fabric scissors for this, cause this is like I want it to be nice and nice and straight. So I'm done with that. Yeah, this for my. My god baby so she ain't gonna be too prissy about it she getting it for free so but i still want to make it make it professional so i'm using my fabric scissors trying to straighten it out look i use my favorite scissors and still got it crooked still can't cut straight i said then a bumpy side goes on the shirt girl my, my hands is rough right now i don't know which one is the bumpy side i need a, I need a manicure <laughs> lord help me jesus help me in these rough hands like i'm working on these okay so now i'm gonna bring it over here to my this is how it looks Okay, bring it to my heat press over here. I'm using my small heat press today because I got my little small shirt. I can see that. So I don't like, I, if y'all want a 15 by 15, be careful because these things, I got this one because it was cheaper and I was like, look, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this, all this sublimation and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I started off cheap, okay? But this thing right here was, I'm about to say up the F word, I'm sorry. It'll mess your knuckles up. <laughs> <laughs> girl, you be like, ah, burnt girl. My whole, oh, my, oh, my whole fist was like so I was punching somebody's walls. Toe up, girl. Toe up. It'll mess you up. So be careful when you get these, these hoop, these kind of machines because this really will, like I said, tear your knuckles up. You'll be walking around here looking like something you don't fought some, got in a fight with somebody. So I'm telling you, be all black and at the, at the hands. Okay, so now I got this on here. And then also, while this is heating this side, it's gonna be also heating my um my um heating bond on the back, the front of the shirt, okay? So it's gonna be heating the heating bond, light, and this silky stuff. And it's basically just helps you um helps the shirt from I mean so the kids don't get all scratched up on the stomach while they're wearing your stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for five seconds. 
Is it five seconds, y'all? Bro, why is this? <laughs> okay. Should be enough. And I like this because it feels so good. It feels like it's, it's connected to the shirt, okay? Even though you can see all this, you can see all this, but it's connected to the shirt. Like, you cannot lift it up. It's like part of the shirt. Well, that part lift up because it was on that thing. But it's part of the shirt now. Look. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm off the camera. It's on there. It's on there like swimwear. It's on there. Okay, so let's see. Oh, my God. I just love creating new stuff, y'all. And y'all be watching me. Y'all be... Y'all be rocking with, rocking with me, rocking with me. I'm going to go ahead and get the lint roller and lint get this all just cleaned up before I show it to y'all. And I'm done with this video, y'all. I want to do the other shirt, but I'm not. And nobody going to tell me to stay because I'm not staying at the other one. I'm kind of tired. I got one more shirt to do, but I'll do that tomorrow. I got um, I have my whole day tomorrow to work on some stuff. I'm thinking about doing that shirt, Um, doing some more of my little, um, uh, what's it called? Turn this off right now because y'all ain't gonna be like, do the other one, do the other one. Fabulosis and dimps. Y'all the ones that be leaving, starting stuff, making me stay on forever and ever. Okay. Oh my god. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, okay. Y'all gotta see why this thread went through here like this. Like, y'all need to tell me that. Is it? Oh, it's come right off though, but still, I was like, what happened? What happened? Look, ain't that cute? Oh my God, Becky, look at that shirt. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to do my little cuts. I don't know why that happened, but I'm going to get my little suits and cut this little thread out right here. And cut it around here a little bit because when you don't cut short close enough to your, um, you'll see how that fabric goes outside of your satin stitch. So you got to get real close to that satin stitch when you're cutting that fabric. So that's cute. I, like I said, I don't really like black for kids, but that gold, Becky, that black pop because it's dark. I like colorful stuff, but that, that gold... Thank y'all, cause I would have had it on. I would have had it on red, y'all. Look, so this is Jordan's little outfit. I'm gonna take pictures of this and put it on my site. And look at this, y'all. Look. <laughs> Ain't that so cool? I got my own tags, y'all, for a Ray of Sunshine Boutique, twelve months, made in the U.S. Hey, hey, hey. And look at that, y'all. Boom. Boom. And you know what I'm gonna do hers because I'm gonna do put hers on my TikTok. So I did her, I did his on your on my live. And I'm gonna do hers on my TikTok. Because you know I love to put stuff on my TikTok, y'all. If y'all not follow me on TikTok, check me out on TikTok. Y'all love finding me some music and put it on my videos. Everything I do, I put it on TikTok, y'all. Everything. So if y'all want to get a sneak peek of what I got on my site, look at TikTok. And my TikTok is charming get charming gal. I love doing TikTok. Ain't that cute, y'all? You better go, girl. Hey! <laughs> girl that's too cute and i don't even like this i mean I, everybody using this cameo i'm like cameo mm. but i was like i'll hook this up let me do some cameo stuff i made these shorts okay eh, eh, eh. myself i got that i use my y'all use my surgery on this i use my surgery on this y'all look at that look at that i surged them edges girl look at that eh, eh, eh. <laughs> i said so they real professionally made i made i use my surgery on this and look at this skirt, y'all. Did I use my surgery on this? Look at that skirt. She's going to be cute. Yep, I use my surgery on here, too. I love that surgery. It makes it look so much professional instead of using them sewing machines. But I use my sewing machine on this, too. You got to sew this part, but then I use the surgery. Look at that. I got to put her size on there. I got to put her size on there. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to be doing her shirt. And I'm going to do some patches. I got some orders. I'm going to do some Tulu socks. Let me show you my socks if y'all didn't see it earlier. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing some more of these socks. I'm going to do a video. I'm probably record myself doing these because they are so freaking easy, y'all. So, I'm going to do a video on this, on these tomorrow. So, I'm going to record that. I'm going to put on my video for my duffel bag. Yes, y'all. Look at... Yes, yes, fabulous. Yes. <laughs> y'all be on it. Um, I'm going to put these on my... I'm going to do these on my video. I'm going to record me doing these. And I'm going to put a TikTok on for her, um, for her shirt. So I'm going to do that TikTok. And check out my TikTok, girl. I got so many things. I'll show y'all how to do my little uh, patches on my TikTok. Girl, I need some oil on this stuff. Girl, it looks like I've been shocked. Um, that, <laughs> I got um, so much stuff on my TikTok. Like I said, everything I do, I put on TikTok because it's so easy. Like, I could just throw them, just take a picture, a short video, throw it in my phone, and then upload it on TikTok, and it's over with. Find me some songs to put on there, a nice little song. It's, it's done. It's done. It's a done deal. Let me turn this thing off because I'm not doing no more stuff tonight. 
I love this thing. Oh, when I'm going live again, girl. Whew, I don't have no set times, but right now, yeah, I stay busy. I stay busy, but I love it. I love it. Um, I'm like, I don't ever have a set time when I go live because I just get on when I get on. Like I said, I knew I was coming on today because I told y'all I was coming on today to do some stuff. I'm gonna get that stuff done. But I really don't have a set time. I just do it when I'm not busy. Tomorrow, I'm definitely not going live. I'm saying that now, but knowing me, I probably find something to do. But I don't think I'm going to live tomorrow. I need to give y'all some time to miss me. Yeah, I need to, you got to miss me a little bit. Because <laughs> I need to spread out these videos. I'm going to upload some more videos. Like, I'm going to upload my duffel bag video tomorrow. So, y'all have that coming. And then, uh, um, probably the middle of next week, I'm going to do another live. All right. Good night, Carla. So I got 147 with only 80 likes. Can y'all please thumbs up? Thumbs up. Please thumbs up. Let me see them thumbs up, y'all. If y'all like this shirt, can you, do y'all like this shirt? Can you tell me by thumbsing up this video? Please. I appreciate it. 30, 85. Come on. I got 145. 145. I got 88. 91. Come on. Go up. Go up. Go up. Also, um, thumbs up the video, the top of the video, not this kind of thing. Thumbs up on the top of the video. Like the video. Also, go like my, um, go like, like my Instagram, my it, and my TikTok, and my baby, because this is a brand new shop, y'all, and I appreciate y'all going to like it so I can bring some people to me, because this is brand new to me. I got, what I, had, I got 11 sales, but only had one review, so if you have a review, if I made something for you in that shop, please go review it. Send me a review, please. If you like this come on 100 likes come on i need 45 more likes and i get out of here <laughs> 45 more likes i, I enjoy y'all too y'all make me laugh i be cracking up y'all be cracking up at me i know y'all do this is so cute cameo cute oh that'd be cute i might make her some um jordan's i mean journey some hair bows some uh, a cameo hair bow like a um but i need the stretchy um fabric for that oh that'd be cute and then I'll probably make her some, I can make her some ruffle socks with the cameo in there. She'd be cameoed out. That'd be too much cameo. Like, girl, where you going? <laughs> you make me laugh. Thumbs up, y'all. Thumbs up. Let me get some more thumbs up on the top of y'all screen, on top of y'all page. Like this video, please. I was going to say, you, give, you like me laugh. Life. I'm like, what you say, girl? She make, I make you laugh. Okay, Sunday. Or she was a Shandy. Any questions, y'all? Because I'm looking at this bag. I need to give me something to eat. What I eat today? Look, what I eat today? I'm going to do that little girl shirt tomorrow. That was so easy. I love when it's just only one color. It was so easy peasy. And I'm like I said, I'm learning. Every time I do something, I'm learning more, learning more. But this one came out perfect. This one right here, like the first one I did, it came out. What happened on this shirt? Y'all might not see the flaws, but I see the flaws. Oh, this is the shirt I did. It wasn't tight enough. Remember I was saying y'all better make sure it's tight. It wasn't tight enough. So what happened was, I'm not going to have to show y'all this, but I'm showing y'all this so y'all know. I didn't I didn't pull the shirt. I just forgot to pull the shirt tight around the edges. So you got to pull the shot, shirt tight enough around the edges. If not, what happened was, it, it lost this whole stitch right here. This whole stitch was like white. So I get my marker and use that marker and, and color that in, y'all. Because it, it like, it didn't, it, if y'all know what I'm talking about, it just, it just missed this whole stitch. It was white. So, yes, get y'all. I had to give me a black marker and get that together. This is for my pictures only. I'm not selling this. But I can get this to, I can get this to Journey, though, because I got everything 12 months. But um, I had a marker. This right here skipped this, too. And something else it did. It did a lot of stuff. So, I had to get my marker and this color. So, get y'all. If y'all do some embroidery, get y'all some markers and color it in <laughs> when y'all need to. Because y'all want to waste a whole shirt. And y'all can just still use that shirt for samples. But that's a good tip. Get, it some, get a marker and color it in. You can't even tell. It's permanent marker. It's not going nowhere. But yeah, I messed up on this one because I didn't have it tight enough. And I'm glad I didn't have this on a live because I would have been... Eh. Yeah, fabric marker. I didn't... I, you know what? So they got different color fabric markers? I didn't know that. So yeah, I'm going to get a fabric marker. But I just use a permanent marker. <laughs> I use a permanent marker real quick. But I'm going to get some fabric markers. I didn't think about getting fabric markers. But yeah. Sure will. But she's so cute. But when I bought this image, I thought this was going to... I thought this bowl was applique. That would have been so pretty if this was an applique because I couldn't put. I was gonna put the, whatever fabric I used. I was gonna put it in her bowl. 
whatever fabric I use for the skirt, I'm gonna put in her bow. I found that, oh, that's not, that's not even applique, that's just a, that's all three. So I was kind of mad about it, but she's still cute. She cute. But yeah, if that would have been an applique, I can have my, I can have, I can digitize, have somebody digitize this for me and make this an applique. But that'd be so cute if I find a, a, some, a pattern, I mean, a, a fabric to put inside her bow, the same as I put on her skirt or shirt or skirt or whatever that I make for her. That would be the bomb. But, but that gold, see how that gold pop? That gold pop too. I love gold. Uh, and I love purple. But here's her little outfit. Fully the princess. And I can put the kid's name on I didn't put a name on here because I didn't know what. I should have put princess, princess under here, but I didn't. But I can put a kid's name on there and then put that on there. And bam. There it goes. And I, I just put red on there. I don't know why I put red on there. But I didn't want to put. I could have put gold. Gold, but I'm sure we'll go put no black because her hair black. But next time I might put that, um, put her shirt gold too. What y'all think? What color should her shirt be? Was that red okay with this? What y'all think should her, her shirt should be? What color? Girl, I'll just be going to red like wood. What color should her shirt be next time, y'all? Was that red okay with this skirt? I be needing help with colors, y'all. I ain't too good with combining colors. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, blue blue would have been cute too. Uh, I don't digitize. I get it done. I get it done. I go to Fiverr.com. Fiverr.com is I got me a digitizer on Fiverr.com, and she just basically hooked me up because I go to her all the time. So she's my main two go to girl. Yes, the okay. The night the red is nice, cool. So yeah, I got just go to go to Fiverr.com and find you a nice digitizer. I got me a main person I go to. I don't want to cheer her because you might um this uh. Just go to Fiverr and just go and check out their work, and you can find out who you want, who you think looks good, what best work, whatever you want. Go to Fiverr. Fiverr, Fiverr did my um my um intros and my outros of my videos. Fiverr is the bomb. Fiverr did my logos. They you can find somebody to do for five dollars instead of paying people. I mean, still get people your business, people that do this stuff outside, you know, just for their businesses. Um, but Fiverr, five dollars. Fiverr.com. Digitize. They do borders. They do business cards you do whatever you want just go in there and put in what you're looking for and they'll do it for you girl i am so in love with these with this embroidery stuff y'all especially when you do it using fabric you oh, i just made me a whole new design on the shirt how cool is that how cool is that and then i make my shirts and i scarce to go with it have y'all seen my stuff that I made? Y'all do y'all want to see some of my embroidery stuff and we can get out of here? Or y'all just y'all already seen all of my stuff? Y'all want to see some stuff that I made or no? Or y'all ready to get off the get off the live? Because when I get off this live, I'm about to go watch some them take a bath and watch some YouTube in my bed until I fall asleep. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta find me a snack. Y'all wanna see my stuff? Oh, y'all make me so happy. <laughs> Let me go get it. Let's see how much do I get some on my phone. Let me show you. Let me see if I can bring y'all over here without unplugging my phone. I just like showing stuff because I made it and it's like, like, oh my gosh, they made it. Hold on, let me plug this phone back before it go dead on y'all. Let me show y'all stuff. 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 Then we're going to be done for today. And I'm going to be going upstairs. Who's going to sell my thread? Ooh. Okay. Hit that like button. No oh, fabulous is staying with me. And she already done seen all my stuff. And she's still sticking around. Ain't she so sweet? No, y'all tired of seeing my stuff. <laughs> Here's my tutu, y'all. Look at that. Ew. I just started learning how to make tutu. This is my third one I made. I got one over there on the wall. I, well, I was on the wall. It's over there. The purple and gold over there. So I got some tulu today. If y'all see my live earlier, I make I got some more tulu so I can make a black and gold one. I made this one with the little bow. This how I look under. It's so fluffy, y'all. I said I would never make two tools. And I've been watching videos, watching videos, watching videos. Now I make two tools. <laughs> Always talk about what I ain't gonna do. Look at all these bows I made, y'all.
Check out my website, everything on my website, a ray of sunshine boutique, and it's one of a kind because when I make one, it's over with. Ain't nobody gonna take your boat because it's one they one of a kind. Okay? Well, and most of the um well the shirts, shorts and stuff, I might make a couple of them. There won't be that many of them out there. People will be having the same thing your kids have on because it's gonna be one of a kind. It's a Black Lives Matter. This is the mermaid. I got a shirt to go with this. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. I just want to chill. I just don't even want to go nowhere. But you know I like to eat, so I might get something to eat. But I just don't want to be by. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. I just want to eat and, and come back home and chill. That's all I want to do for Mother's Day. I wish I could just chill. I don't want to be bothered. Does that sound mean? I don't. I just want to be. I just want to chill because you know y'all don't get too many days off. I mean, I work it off on the weekend. But I just want to. I just don't want to be. I don't know. I'm just alone. I'm alone. I want to chill. I really want to just craft, make stuff for my new machine. I don't have time to visit. I'm going to stay home and, and uh, do some crafting. I did this for um Autistic Autism Month. This is a sample. This is how I make my samples. If y'all got an embroidery machine, this is how y'all make your samples. You just get some fabric and um fold it up, and then you make it like a shirt. Now, somebody was telling me they wanted to do some samples for their sublimation and stuff. You don't have to do this for sublimation. You can sublimate on your computer. But since this is embroidery, it's fabric. So you can't really mock up fabric. You can't mock up fabric because you really can't, it ain't going to look right on the computer. It ain't going to look the same. But you can mock up sublimation in vinyl on your computer. So you ain't got to worry about putting no your sublimation in vinyl on the, um, on the fabric. Somebody on my last live was like, oh, I got to get some fabric to mock up my sublimation. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can if you want to. But it's best to just mock up on your computer on a mock-up app. So I got a couple of videos that I've mocked up some stuff for sublimation and vinyl on my site. So check out my um, YouTube channel and say uh, mock up how I mocked up um, vinyl and sublimation on my silhouettes. How I mocked up on, on this one place, on this one ad called placeit.com. I just mocked it up. You don't got to use no fabric for sublimation and vinyl. This is a waste of time. Look at that, y'all. See, I do use a black a little bit. So this is like a, this would be on a black t-shirt, but I use this on black fabric. And then when I do um, print it out, I'm gonna um, when I make it, this is just a, a sample, so you can put it on my. I take pictures and stuff, put it on my website, and this is how it looks, and then make it like a t-shirt, like it's folded up t-shirt. I made these bummies with my serger. I got a shirt, I got a bow to match that somewhere in here. I got to start putting stuff together, keeping it together. So when I show y'all, it'll be together. I made this shirt. It's a, it's a sample still, but I taped it up, make it a shirt. I got to iron this. I'm going to my heat press off. I need to iron this. But I don't even, I already don't show these no more. I already took the pictures of it. So it just be sitting there, sitting around looking cute in the book, in, in this big old box because I don't use them no more because the sample's already done. That's already on my website. So just, and I need to put them in paper. I was going to put all of them in bags, but no reason to put them in bags. I don't need them no more. After the picture is done, you don't need them. Only the time I need them to show y'all, really show people. Or I can take them to my, my um, pop-ups and show them too. You know, stuff that I did. Or they can just go on my website. Okay. I made these. Look at these, y'all. I made some pants, y'all. Ain't they cute? Little girl pants. Stretchy little leggings. And look at this dress, y'all. If y'all want to learn how to sew, who wants to learn how to sew? You want to learn how to sew? Go check out my girl on Facebook. Her group is called um, Sew S E W Sew S O Cute, and her name is Aisha. And look at that! It's a, it's a, um my first dress. And look at it. It's, it's perfect, perfect to me. Um, and it's reversible, y'all. Reversible. So let's go make some more of these dresses. I got my fabric all sitting out here because that's another thing I'm gonna do this weekend. Make another dress. Um, I love this. I love, I love this glitter fabric. So every time I find me what you want to learn how to sew, um, every time I find glitter fabric, I try pick it up so I know I'll make a dress or a skirt with it. So my next dress is gonna be with this fabric. It's glitter. Ain't that cute? So girl, y'all be at your stores just getting fabric. So that's gonna be my next dress I'm gonna be use, doing. Yeah, check if you want to know how to sew, check out my um girl. Her name is Alicia, uh, Aisha, and her and her um fat her Facebook group is called So So Cute. S E W. C U T, I mean so 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 S E W then the other so S O. Look at these 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 flare pants, y'all. So these are the flare pants, but I still want to do the bell bottoms. So some more bell bottoms. They really bell bottoms. They start up here and they bail out. They bail out. Look, 
So I'm gonna get some um I wanna make some more of these too. Ain't that cute girl? I can't believe I be making this stuff, y'all. Y'all understand. Y'all understand. I said, what? I use a sewing machine. I got all this stuff I'm showing y'all. It's all on my site. Array of Sunshine dot um twenty twenty array of sunshine twenty twenty. I got the set, the bonnet. Of course I got the set for the baby head. Don't fall off, but stay on there. It's not tight. Um bonnet, bib, and burp cloth. Keep them keep them ball spots from coming. The back of the head, you know. Get this satin. Get a little, put a little oil on them. Maybe I right. get them together. <laughs> and my daughter, she well, she's 22. She never had ball spots in the back. Cause I made sure I kept that by, that head together, girl. She was good to go. But we all get those. Look at these girl. This color is so cute. Look at that color. And this is this this fabric is so soft too. I love the way this feel. It's so soft. Look at this. Bow to go with it. So this is bummies. These are called bummy shorts, and this is a bo the bow to go with it. Oh, oh. I'm trying to keep my sets together. Let me put my sets together so I can put them together. And I made this for a little, um, so I got to tape this back up. So, oh, I got to tape this back up. It fell apart. Y'all know what this is. This is a sample. But if I tape it back up, it's like a shirt. So I got to get my boys together, too. I got a lot of girl stuff, but I got to get my boys together. So here's a sh little skirt I made. The little bummy bee. I got the bummy bee. I got the yellow bummy bee dress, and I got the blue bummy bee dress skirt. But on my site, if y'all want, y'all can either pick from, a, can pick from shorts, skirts, or dress. Whatever y'all want, y'all can pick what y'all want. Y'all don't have a skirt. If you want some shorts, say, yeah, we want shorts in this material. So I can make shorts, skirts, and dresses, y'all. And then the bummies is with the st with the stretchy material. That's a different material that I gotta use for that. But but this cotton comes with all kind of stuff. Cotton material, you can buy so much stuff with cotton material. Oh, look at that, y'all. <laughs> look at that. Oh, got my tag in there. Got my tag in there. Don't I got a shirt to go with one of these skirts? I, I know I got some some um shirts to go with those. Let me find my shirts, y'all. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Girl, why my stuff coming apart? I gotta tape this together so I can show y'all the right way. <sighs> y'all know what it is. I ain't about to tape all this right now. I don't know my tape at, but I'm gonna show y'all. This goes with my skirt. This B goes with this skirt, y'all. Y'all got the blue in there with the skirt to go with it. Fabric glue for what? Use the tag. It's the tag for me. Yes, honey. Yes, fabulous. It's the tag for me, girl. When I got this, I was like, oh my God, I got my own tag. <laughs> I'm in the business now. I'm in the business. What am I doing with my stack? This is my stack. Put this here, put this here. Okay. And look at this. I got the, um, I got the bummies and the pants. And I thought I had a shirt to go with this, y'all. Girl, I gotta keep these sets together. When I'm gonna show off, I gotta make sure I got everything together. Um, oh, I made this the 4th of July skirt. With, um, why is this over here? I made a skirt, I gotta find a shirt though. It's in here somewhere, I'm gonna find a skirt in a minute. And I made this for my grandbaby. May she rest in peace. This is her name. Her, this, the shop is named after her. A Ray of Sunshine. Her name is Araya Nicole Ray. And um, Ray stands for remembering Araya every day. And her name was Nicole. Um, uh, her name was Nicole before she passed away. We, we named her Araya Nicole Ray. And somebody on, on YouTube, I mean on my Facebook, they was like, Ray, make it stand for remembering Araya every day. What's the bomb.com. So I appreciate y'all helping me find my name for my site. Y'all just been helping me from day one. So I appreciate y'all because that was wonderful how y'all abbreviated it like that. I didn't do it. I sure we don't have, I don't know, had no clue how to put up makeup names and stuff and stuff like that. But she here, I don't know who it was. I forgot who it was. But y'all be coming through for me, y'all. Be coming through. Okay, here's the, here's the shirt. Look at that. Here's the shirt for the pants. 
Girl, I got still got 161, 134 people watching. Y'all be coming through. Thanks for staying with me. Thanks for wanting to see my stuff. I appreciate you all. That goes with that. And these pants go with that. Because they cute, cute. So, like I said, I pressed. When I took a picture of it, I pressed it to make sure it was cool. And I put that with that. So, that's that outfit goes with this. On my site. That would be a shirt. Um... I don't know if I had it. I don't think I got a shirt. I don't got no shorts for this. I don't know. I got to look. I think I do got some shorts for this, too. Yeah, I do. Right here, y'all. Let me get it together. Right here. Dapper cover in the sh shorts. Okay. See how I, I love the fine fabric to put it together, honey. Put it together. There's my little other. This candy. This candy is so cute. Like a candy store, candy land. Thank you, Sarah. And it's the bonnet to go with it. The candy land set. Okay. And then this is the shirt that goes with this. That pink was popping. That could have been gold too. Pink pants to go with this. All these are on my site. A Ray of Sunshine 2020 for my baby. And remember of Ryan Nicole. Ray. This could go with no. This too dark. I went. I bought. Made this separate. But this, this is the cat on here. But I think this black would be too bad, too, too dark for this skirt. What y'all think? But this black, you can't put this cat on a white shirt. But you can put it on a pink shirt though. But yeah, I don't think that go with that. That black is too dark. So what I did was I made this by itself, and I made this shirt by itself. Cause that's too dark. What y'all think? Would that go? Do that go with that? Should I put it together or no? I think that black is too dark for this white. I could make this. A, I could make a pink skirt with this. But yeah, that's just, I made that separately. It goes, you think that black go with that? Okay. See, I just, I'm not a fan of black for kids. It looks so dark. But if y'all think it look good, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my site like this. Match it up like that on my site then, y'all. I just thought that was too dark. I got to see, I got to work on my colors, y'all. I got to learn how to coordinate. I'm going to show, put that on my site just like that tomorrow. Because I got to separate on my, on my site right now. So I got this Nerf guns, you know, I don't like guns. I don't like guns for kids, but they, it's, they, it sells, I guess. But I found that out. Let me go ahead and do it. My son loves Nerf guns. I'm like, boy, no, no guns. But he got one. I don't like it. This is cute, y'all. This is so cute. I, this is one of my first um, things I did when I did her, um, when I did open her shop up. These little teddy bears are so cute. Oh, Okay. These are, I love, and I use, I love this fabric I use. I can't remember what it is, but I love it. It's so soft. Minky. I think I use Minky or the felt, not felt, but flannel, flannel. I just love the way that, that you can use different materials and it looks so real. It looks like it's 3D. I love that when it looks like it's 3D. Ain't that cute, y'all? Cute, cute. Then I make some shorts for that autism. Then I make some shorts for that autism um, shirt. I'm pretty sure I did. This is my baby, Araya. Oh, no, that's Brooklyn. I'm sorry. I got a shirt for Araya name on there, too. But I made a shirt for this. Oh, this I love this flower um, material. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> I love that flower material. It's so cute. I'll make a dress out of that, too, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so close. I don't even got to be that close. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Um, what else I got here? Another bow. I messed up on this one, I think. I'm going to... This gold. Some gold bummies. I was just playing around. This is the first one I made. I can fix that one. There's another bow right here. These bows in here, so I won't mess with this up. Some more boy stuff. I was just playing around with this shirt. Oh, it's kind of... I got to figure out my tension because it's kind of making this ball up a little bit. But it looked good in the picture. That's all that matters. Look like it's lopsided but if it is lopsided i made it look real straight in the picture when i did my samples i'm not selling this i'm just doing i would just this is a dollar tree shirt and i was just playing around oh no it's not dollar tree shirt this is a good shirt but i was just playing around with it because i just wanted to see how it looks on a real shirt instead of doing all that fabric stuff the, the fabric so i just said let me try it on some shirts so um i thought i was using dollar tree shirts for my samples so i got that I'm almost done, y'all. I've been doing a lot. Y'all see, I've been working. These, all this stuff, all these samples I did on my one needle machine, y'all. 
All this is on my money. All stuff that y'all just saw on my one in the machine. Everything. All this. One in the machine. On my five by seven. All these are five by sevens, y'all. So let me tell y'all, the one in the machine can get y'all together. I haven't the only thing I've done on that big machine is the, the live I just did with the t-shirt. I probably did like four t-shirts. Real t-shirts. But all my samples, right on there. Okay? So y'all can get it done on them one in the machines. I can't afford it. If y'all want to pay all that money on those, start off with the small ones because Y'all can um learn see if y'all see if y'all like it. See if y'all like it first before y'all get them big on machine. I got I got this one. This color is so cute. I didn't think I was gonna like this dark color, but it's cute. Got the head bow, the bow, and the shorts. Little bummies for little girls. These are so cute. Um yeah, all this all this stuff I showed y'all. One in the machine. I haven't did nothing on that big machine, like I said, except for that, um, like I said, the, the shirts I did on that shirt I did on live, and them two onesies. That's really it. That's really it, for real. Let me see. This is all, I didn't sew this stuff. I mean, I sold them shorts and stuff, yes, but these shirts is all embroidery. And you put it right in the machine and push the button. That's a nice shirt. Thank you. She really does. Let me see. What font are you using? I don't know. I can tell y'all, I don't know the fonts offhand. You use your embroidery machine? Yes, I use my embroidery machine for all these shirts, y'all. All the shirts came from, embro I embroidered the shirts. I didn't sew them, I embroidered. I put them in the machine and then pushed the button. Of course, you got to watch it or whatever, put, change the thread or whatever. But all these shirts are done with embroidery, okay? I didn't sew this stuff, but embroidery. Ain't that sweet? I, got, I did this for Easter. It's a cool bunny, huh? <laughs> all this embroidery. And this is fabric inside of here. Then you sew around the, um, the machine, sews around it. I didn't sew this. Only thing y'all seen me sew... One thing I sold was all the bottoms. I did all the bottoms with my sewing machine. All the shirts is embroidery. Check out my embroidery videos. You can see how I did, um, how you embroider. And check out my TikTok. My TikTok will show you little snips and snips or whatever about how you, um, she said she's sipping and watching. I, I feel you. This is a real, I like this, this material. It's like a stretchy, it's like a real t-shirt, y'all, don't it? But it's a, it's a, it's a sample. Some fabric I folded up, made like so you don't have to waste all your money on doing samples. We can just use your um your fabric, y'all. Use your fabric, honey. Cheaper the best, the better. <laughs> I got more stuff, y'all. Y'all still hanging on with me? If y'all alone, y'all stay on. I'm gonna be showing y'all my stuff. I did all this within well within the last because this is my I just opened my my boutique my my kids boutique. So I, I did all this within this last month. Okay, thirty days. 30 days. The last 30 days, I did all this stuff. I don't sleep. I don't stop. I keep on going. 30 days, I did all this stuff. And I got three machines so I can have them all run at the same time. There's my baby right there. Araya. She would have been one February 28th. She would have been one. And I do it all because of her. Yes, all this within a month. This, this month. 30 days. I did all these shirts. All these samples. 30 days, y'all. And my machines be running. Be going, going, going. I ain't been doing, like I said, my shop only been open for like a couple of weeks now. Not even 30, the shop ain't been open for no 30 days, I don't think. So that's why I said I only got like 11 sales. So I'm just, it's a brand new shop. I'm just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. But my other shop, my um, Charming Girl Boutique 2, this been open for like a year. And I got over 200 some sales on that one. So I thank y'all, I appreciate y'all for shopping with me. Okay, here's the here's this one right here. This is good for my um. This is gonna be for my um for the holiday. Okay. Yep, her birthday is February twenty eighth. But um. All right, I like this fabric. Twenty is cute, y'all. I just made this the other day. I just love this fabric for the summertime. And it's the bow to go with it. All these are on my site. Yep, birthday February 28th. been one years old. Trying to make sure I got everything. I got everything matching now. So when I show everybody again, if y'all want to see it again, <laughs> everything. Now this is my um for my little boys for the for Fourth of July. I gotta find some. I gotta make some shorts. I didn't make no shorts for the little boy. I gotta make some shorts for the little boy. I made the skirt for the little girl, but I didn't make no sh shorts for the boys. But it's on my site too. If they wanted some shorts, I can make some shorts. This fabric is cute too. All this is embroidery, y'all. Embroidered shorts. 
And guess what, y'all? That's it. So, oh, somebody asked me earlier about a hat. How you do hats? This is puff vinyl, um, puff, um, puff embroidery. I embroidered this on there, but that's puff. Um, you do need a hat who for that six needle machine. But I'm pretty sure you do. I don't think you can do a hat without the, without the hat hoop on that machine. But on those one needle machines, girl, you don't need a you don't need a hat hoop. You don't need a hat hoop. Okay. You can just do it. I got a video on show you how to do it without a hat hoop. The hat hoops are expensive. You don't need no hat hoop. Just do it. I got a video on show you how to do hats on your one needle machine. Okay. So check me out. I bought this from um Hobby Lobby so I can learn how to make these. I want to know how to make these. So this is basically Tulu and the shorts. So I, wanna, I got this so I can be able to figure out how to make it. Okay. So I got this for a sample. And I got this to the show. I told y'all this earlier. I bought this Tulu in my video before. I bought Tulu because I want to make this headband. So I bought some of this. This is from also from, um, this, this came as a set at Hobby Lobby, right? So when I buy, when I see something I like, I buy it so I can make it, okay? So I found, this, they got this piece right here. So I bought some of these and I bought some Tulu, the small packs of Tulu. If y'all don't know, Hobby Lobby sell the Tulu this size. They got the big size like this. They got it on the bulk. They got the size like this. They got the size like this. I bought it for this, right? But then your girl, I'm going to go ahead and make these, okay? But then your girl found out about these Tulu socks. So then I started making these socks. And I use that small thing for the Tulu socks, too. It's much better than using the big size. Let me show y'all. I'm going to have my little haul in my other video. Look at that. This is size Tulu. And it's the same size you need. So you got to worry about cutting it off. Get this size Tulu from the um, Hobby Lobby if you're doing these socks or you're doing hair bows, okay? I've I, I been had these for the hair bow. I didn't think about socks till, till I seen the Audrina video. I'm like, oh, I can use this on my socks, too. So I picked up some more of these. Put some more ribbon for my stuff, my to my socks. So tomorrow I'm gonna be doing socks tomorrow. I'm gonna record that. I'm not doing no live, but I will record how to do these socks tomorrow on my video. So stay tuned to this for that for that sock that this feel. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna do these two with that little tulu. Okay, so these are just a sample that I got from Hobby Lobby. And that's it, y'all. I'm finally done. What is bow go? Oh, I'm just playing around with the bow. I am finally done showing y'all all my stuff. Like I said, I made all this stuff within 30 days, y'all. The last 30 days, I've been working, working. It goes with the bowls, everything I done made within the last 30 days. It haven't been over a month. Okay, two tools, clothes. Let me show y'all this bag real quick. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bag. Oh, I forgot to show y'all my little boy. I made a little boy set too. Of course, they don't got no bonnets, so it just come with the, <laughs> the, birth, the uh, birth cloth and then a bib, and it's reversible too. Both of them reverse, but you can reverse the, the, the um, bib and the birth cloth. You can have the green one day or you can have the other color one day. Yes, I've been busy, but I love it. Like I said, I come down in my off my um, I also got the, the bonnets, the regular just, I got the satin bonnets. Some of them I have cotton and satin, satin but then this one is all satin. Okay, and it's reversible. Black on one side. And I also had these, they got Mommy and Me bonnets. So if you don't want to, if you don't want it for your daughter, just buy it for yourself. You go on Array, a Sunshine Boutique and buy your bonnets too. Or you can buy a Mommy and Me bonnet. Okay. I'll show y'all, I showed you I think I showed y'all this too. And then I made this, I just embroidered on this bag. A little girl's, this would be a little, a little cute girl bag. For a little girl, probably her little, um, like a 10 year old or something like that. And have a little, little overnight bag or a little bag. I got this from Michael's, they was on sale. Went off after Black History Month, and I put a little girl on there. And I brought her on there. So I put that on my site, too. One of a kind. Probably got like four of these bags. They were real cheap. Could check them sales out. I'm going to sell these on my site also. Matter of fact, I got to put that picture. I got to put this picture on, the, my, on my site, too. They got to go on my site. They got to go on my site. Those socks got to go on my site. I got, some up, I got some uploading to do on my site tomorrow, too, while I'm chilling. On my days off. Ugh. All right, y'all. I showed y'all everything, and y'all stay. Oh, y'all love me just. Y'all love me just a little bit. I appreciate the love, y'all. I appreciate the love. Y'all actually stayed on here and watched me show y'all my little goodies, and I love making stuff. So if y'all interested in me making y'all stuff, y'all little cute little babies. I'm gonna start making some um gift boxes and gift stuff for little girls, like I me mean, for. Some uh, baby showers and stuff like that. To make some stuff like that, I'm gonna start getting it together. Put these in bags so they won't get messed up. Cause I got everything separated, so next time I show it off, I have everything together. Um, I can't see that. I'm gonna do. Y'all say something. Oh, thank you for coming back. He said me. Thank you. Thank you. You thanking me? Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I told me. 
I was like, I ain't coming back. I got, I'm, I'm about to go chill. But I was like, nah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I know this shirt going to be easy. And I be scared coming on live a lot. But lives are easy for me to do because um, I don't got to worry about going back and editing. It's just up and running. I can put it up and go with it. I don't got to worry about turning around, editing, and, and upload, you know, uploading. I can just show y'all and be done with y'all. But um, the only thing about lives, I can't edit. And when I mess up, y'all see the whole thing. So that's the only thing I hate. And then I get frustrated sometimes and I get impatient because stuff won't be going right. And then y'all be seeing me. I'm like, Lord, y'all gonna think I know what I'm doing. But to let y'all know, I do my research and stuff. I don't just come up on here. I do my research, but I do I do have new stuff, okay? That's a brand new machine that I'm working on. I had no clue, but I still looked and checked and see how to work it, but it's still brand new to me. So y'all gonna see me goofing up, goof up. Y'all don't mind. Y'all always, y'all always tell me, tell me to breathe through it, right? Let me show y'all my other tutu I made over there. I got everything wrapped up, so it'll be all pretty and cute. I gotta figure out some good ways to, um, well, that's cute. Ship out my, um, well, I'll make it look a little bit better than that. Ship out my tutu whenever I get some tutu orders. I haven't had no orders for tutus yet. Oh, this is the fabric I bought today. All in my way. I ain't got nowhere to put it. I'm over stop overstocked with fabric y'all i don't know where i'm gonna put this fabric at y'all i have no clue where it's going <laughs> i don't have no more room no more room and it's the bond i gotta make um i made the little girl bond already i've got to make the mama bonnet she made she got a um two bonnets um and also this fabric i got today I, look at my other live though but this fabric is so cute though look at that I got this on my other show. Look up, check out my other live. I can see the rest of the fabric I got earlier today. I went to the, I went to Hobby Lobby. No, this came in the mail. But check to see where I got that from on my other live. I'm not going to show that again because I want y'all to see my other live I made earlier today. Go back and watch that live, y'all. So you can see all my fabric. And we also sublimated some earrings today. So check that out. Um, I had a fabric haul. Check that out. And that's it, y'all. I'm hungry. I got everything situated in my little my little box. So clean up a little bit. Oh, let me put her back in here. Let me put her away. Um Okay. Who's saying hi? It's time to go to sleep now. <laughs> who who y'all saying hi to? Somebody that came in here? If you have not thumbs up, can you go ahead and thumbs up this video, please? Like this video, please. If you're just not joining me, I'm about to go to bed. No, I really ain't going to bed, y'all. I'm about to go watch some YouTube videos like I always do. I mean, I probably don't seen all the videos on YouTube by now. All the videos. Hold on, I got to lift my little, my little, my little bowl. Okay, let me show y'all my other tutu. And I'm going to bed. I'm not, not going to bed, but then I'm going to live. My phone hot. Y'all have me on live. How long have I been on live? Fabulous, you still here? Dempsey, you still here? How long we been on this live? How long we been on live? Since 8.30 today? Y'all still here? Why is my chain? See my other um here's my other tutu right here. Here's my other tutu right there. Oh, you still here, Fabulous? <laughs> there it is right there. Dips is going to be. Oh, she done left us, Fabulous. <laughs> Yo, you rocking with the sister. And that's a that's a tutu I made with no soap, but that's kind of too big, too long. That was just something I was playing around with. But I can cut it and still look good. Um, but that's the one I made with the socks to go with it. And today we made this rug, y'all. If I missed our first live, check and see how I made this rug in my first live. Okay? Okay, y'all. I'm going to bed. Y'all done had me all day. My son probably like, Mama, what the heck are you doing? Down there all day. But he not even, because usually 
he would come down here with me. But now he know he don't lie because he don't like to wear clothes around the house. So he right here walking around with his drawers and wife beat her on. Like he the man in the house. Like, boy, go put some pants on. Nobody want to see that. So he don't like to, he be running away because he don't want me to show y'all. But I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show you on live. You better get out of here. He be running. <laughs> so uh, he don't be coming down here while y'all, I'm on live. But when I'm not on live, he be down here with me, watching me, talking to me. So I got everything cleaned up down here. So I can be ready to come down here tomorrow. Do some more stuff. Uh, do my little orders and stuff. I showed y'all my little packing center. A little stuff I got going on here. Take some pictures and stuff to put on my website tomorrow. Y'all told me that outfit look cute. I'm going to put that on my site like that. Put that together. Do my little socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And do my little shirt for journey to match her little outfit. Put that on my website. And I'm good to go, y'all. Make some more dresses. Make oh I got my appointment tomorrow too to make my rumper. So I can learn how to make a rumper. Because I told y'all about that. If y'all look at my my video, my business tips on my other live, telling y'all about the business tips. Y'all make sure y'all have enough stuff because people might order something and y'all ain't have it, you ain't got it. Ugh. <sighs> It's a mess, but then you don't want to spend all your money on all this stuff, and then people might not buy it. So it's hard. It's hard doing having a business. Oh, I'm sorry. Too close, y'all. Too close. It's hard having a business. You gotta really um know how your stuff on how your stuff together, or you gotta spend all this money. And you might not even sell it. So it's hard decisions you gotta make having a business, y'all. So check out my business tips one on one on my first live I just did earlier today. So now I'm about to go for real. Good night. Good night. It's what time is it? She says it's like in California, girls. Let me see what time is it here. I don't want to see my time on my phone. It's like 12.30. It's 2 o'clock. Bye. Even though I'm not going to bed, I'm going to get off this live. I've been on this live since 8.30. And it's 2 o'clock, 8 a.m. Good night. See y'all next time. Happy Mother's Day. Love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. 